hot sauce. What's your name? I'm hot sauce. You said what? I'm, I'm one of them. So I'm an overseer. He's an overseer, and he's an overseer as well. He 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 he, he, he watching he watching you build with him. That's what we're doing. We watching because because he can build with you. You know what I'm saying? But you know you you want a nigga to talk to you like how a nigga talk to you, right? I mean, well, give, give me X. Give me X. Give me X. So look, so you have just made a. Uh, he come in as a nigga, bro. No, no, no. No, I'm saying you, you. You said you want you want him to talk. You want him to talk from himself, right? From from his words, not from the Bible. That's so crazy. I'm about to walk off, bro. I'm about to show you X. Look, bring it up. No, no, no. Look, watch this. Watch this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 13, verse one. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, as of Barnabas. And Simeon, that was called nigger. It was called nigger, man. See, look, so we we, we come we come to the, to the highways and the but the highways and my ways to, to to bring our people uh, back to the phone to be into this marriage, man. We in the ghetto, man. Yeah, it's it's okay, it's okay. They got me a little a little rocked up from uh, talking to them. It's cool, man. Cause look, so what is ghetto? Give me the definition of ghetto. Somebody give me the definition of ghetto. That's where we at, man. And they, they don't want us to be right here. I don't know. They talk about their business. Slow, please. Let's do their business. We all here for our people, man. <sighs> ghetto, man. We in the hood with it. You know what I'm saying? We in the ghetto. You can't be scared of this energy, man. I see a bro up here sipping and everything. You know what I'm saying? He think it's something bad about to happen to him. We, hey, we chilling like he is. But most of all, we tired. Give me that uh, shortly refresher, make it a wild man. Go ahead, bring it out. This is the etymological definition for the word ghetto from the 1610s. Part of a city in which Jews are compelled Where to live. Jews are compelled to live. We compelled to live in this place. And this start off with projects. You know what I'm saying? Then he go to, to rural persons. This ain't nothing but a big ass project without the fence around it. But the fence around it is the red line. Which, which a lot of people don't don't talk about or think about. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we grow up living. This is the north for us. What, what else is say on that? What does it say for the number two? Here, just read this. Number two. Number two. A quarter of a city in which members of a minority group live. A minority group. They calling us the minority for forever, but they steady trying to give us that up. Uh, you feel me? So we so we are definitely be the minority because we really the majority. We, they, they the ones having problems giving birth. You know what I'm saying? We ain't having no problems giving birth. Shit, I done had kids back to back to back, like Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? I damn near probably got another one on the way, but that's a gift from the Most High. Give me that third one. An isolated group. An isolated group. What what do, what do we say? We holy, right? We holy unto the Most High, right? Ain't that isolated? Because holy means separate. You see that, man? Yeah, man. So that's what we doing. We coming out in the ghetto, and they, they don't want us to do it, man. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 14 and 12. Give me that. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. That's that energy, man, because they telling us they don't want us to be right here, but we exercising our rights. They talking about firearms. We exercising our rights. Give me that, what, what Yahweh Shah said about the firearms. Modern day sword. Read, give me that again. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. God damn it, I got to get up and go to work. God damn it, I ain't gonna get paid until the, the week after the next. My week. God damn it, they gonna take taxes out of my money before I even know how much I come got coming in. I'm trying to add it up up the hours. But they they even got some some other shit on my check talking about some this kind of tax and that kind of tax. I don't even know who the hell that is. You know what I'm saying? They, that's making me mad. Why do I gotta keep working for pennies, making the rich man richer, while I'm struggling to pay my damn bills on time? You know what I'm saying? That shit make me mad. You know what I'm saying? Why do we gotta ride around that hoopies, you know, or go and, 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 and uh, what's it called when you go get a, a get a whip? Go go get a car note and, and you give them damn all they check. And back to you, you said that that, that information that public, it is public. We 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 that one that too. That ain't what that ain't what that ain't what. That's that's why it's down there. But yeah, that that information is public. You know what I'm saying? Cause look, that's why we printed up. We print hundreds of flyers. You see them flyers? We print hundreds of flyers and pass them out. So the number on the, on there on the top is his. It's your Tarka Yada one. You know what I'm saying? I'm Hatsasan. Yeah, I'm Hatsasan. Yeah. So look, if you tap in with us, Key, like the brother was saying, we celebrate the new moon, and we'll be celebrating that Monday evening. Yeah. So Monday evening, and you were saying, you know, you can bring your six-year-old son, 
it's, it's basically a beef that you know how they have where, these where it's gonna be on the west side he's where's gonna he's gonna give you the location i don't want to say it on the camera because because it's it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff that comes not with for the this black community, bro. that's why we're doing this for the black community bro, why is this it's not it's not secret because we all supposed to celebrate it you know what i'm saying we all supposed to keep it so why are we celebrating we just we don't celebrate it we're against that we don't celebrate nothing that's so not in the bible we not Look, for one, for one, the venue, it ain't big enough for everybody to fit in. It's that's big enough. It's, 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 that's what I just told them. That, that's why they that energy came like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's what I just told them. I told them they got a problem. You heard me right here. I told them they got a problem for the police. Man, we got together, bro. We is. Look, we don't just do this in Detroit. We just came back from Atlanta. We do this all over the United States. And out the country. Yeah, we everywhere. We, I mean, we do all that too. But you know what I'm saying? They, they want to keep us at a lower state. But you know what I'm saying? We got to do what's right. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you can be. Listen, listen. Give me that. You know that scripture. Uh, give me that scripture. A man, a man thinking he's doing right. You can bring the real, man. I ain't gonna listen, bro. But like I said, I'm gonna give a try, bro. Damn shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, I just listen. I'm not listening, bro. This Bible don't have nothing to do with religion. It's our history books. Give me uh, Second Ezra six and fifty four. Watch this. Watch this. You got it. Bring that off. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter fourteen, verse twelve. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah, so we can think that the shit that we doing is right, but the end of it is death, man. So we got to really be doing what's what's right for us. You know what I'm saying? Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen. We got to be keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. Because every secret thing that you doing behind the most high back, you feel me, when his eyes are 10,000 10, times brighter than the sun, it's going to come to light. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be revealed. You know what I'm saying? Give me that. This is the book of 2nd Edris, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. We all come from Adam. Go ahead. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Yeah, that's us, the chosen people. This is for the camera's edification because the brother don't want to hear the scriptures, because he's thinking the scriptures got something to do with religion. We ain't trying to bind nobody to nothing. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sake. Uh -huh. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. The other people that come from Adam, not the chosen people. Uh huh. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They're what? They are nothing. The other people are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. So-called white people are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. So-called Chinese people are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. So-called Japs are what? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. Yeah, they nothing, man. They nothing, but what? Go ahead. But be like unto spittle. Unto spittle, a goddamn hawk and spit a loogie out your mouth. They are nothing. That much of nothing, go ahead. And has like it, the abundance of them unto a drop that has fallen from a vessel. Damn water falling off a damn boat back into the damn ocean. It's nothing. <laughs> That's it on that. Uh, Go ahead, King. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 3. Then he loved the people, all his saints are in thy hand, and they sat down at the feet. Everyone shall receive thy word. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. You see that? Moses commanded us a law, but that was given him through the spirit and power from the most high. You know what I'm saying? Given to us to keep. That that damn that schoolmaster, you know what I'm saying? Without that schoolmaster, you doing whatever. And that that's another precept off of that. You thinking that you're doing something right when you went and that bring death upon you. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that. You're all scared of death when you shouldn't be scared of death. Because give me that. The most high didn't give us the spirit of uh of fear. What did he give us the spirit of? You know what I'm saying? Because they people people love to hate the things that they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and that's golden right there. And they don't understand it because they don't seek this knowledge. They don't seek this knowledge, they ain't gonna gain wisdom. That's the only one you're gonna gain wisdom. Go ahead. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. He ain't given us the spirit of fear. You know what I'm saying? They don't want us to be here telling them to call the police. We don't like to see the police, but tell them to call them. We within our rights. They got a problem, tell them to holler at us. Go ahead. But of, but of power, power, of love, and of a sound mind. Of power, love, and a sound mind. This, 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 this sound mind is gonna come from meditating in these scriptures, meditating in prophecy, putting the right things in your body. Because like uh, the brother Kayada one I like to go into, every every physical thing has a spiritual application to it. So if you're putting that damn spine in your body, your damn spirit is going to be off. Bro. Leaning like a goddamn cholo. You know what I'm saying? To the left and to the right when it's supposed to be straight. You know what I'm saying? And that's that spiritual application right there. 
Give me that uh, Deuteronomy 14 and 2. And somebody get uh, Hebrews 7 and 14. Yeah. It's all good. Hey, let them come, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it up. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy yeah, God. Yeah, a separate people unto the Lord thy God. And what? And the Lord has chosen thee to be his peculiar people to himself. Chosen. So the kids in your house, you're going to raise them and, and treat them separate from the kids that's uh, uh, across damn eight miles. Because we, we ain't on that side. We ain't on the suburban side. They don't got it like how we got it in the plus. They ain't in the house. They ain't gonna eat what we eat. They ain't gonna get the, the treatment of what we treat. Or none of that. You know what I'm saying? They, they gonna get whatever. You know. But the kids in my house, they gonna get that special treatment. They gonna get that special treatment. But they gonna get. They gonna get. Uh. Uh. They gonna get chastised too. You know what I'm saying? Give me that uh, for the for Lord chastise. Look. They gonna get chastised too because when they go out in the world and they ain't with me, the world gonna treat them any kind of way. Go ahead. Uh, above all the nations that are upon the earth. There go again. Above all nations. We are the children of the one Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? We above all nations, not equal to. Uh, our people been fighting for equality, something that uh, uh, never happened. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 it's, that's absurd, man. You know, all they had to do is open up this book and read it. The real uh, black history. You know what I'm saying? Not wait till February and, and read a book compiled of, uh, of biographies and autobiographies of people that have been fighting for their rights. To hell with all them rights. You know what I'm saying? This gives you all the rights that you need in this walk of life. You know, without this, without these rights, without this walk of life, you have no life. You're spiritually dead. God. You feel me on some uh, valley of the dry bones? You in that damn alley, and you ain't got no damn life in you. You a damn, you a damn zombie. A, a, apocalypto. You know what I'm saying? The revelation. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You got that? Bring that out. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord. Yeah, don't, 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 don't despise the chastening of the Lord. You feel me? It's, it's happening for a reason. Either he's trying to put you through that fire to make sure that you're going to come out like gold, or he's trying to see if, you, if you're weak, if you need to be cut off from the damn congregation. Go ahead. This is my son. Despise not the, ch the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scorcheth every son whom he receiveth. You see that? That's all out of love. It's all out of love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what does it say? Spare the rod? Your damn dad, he gonna whip that ass. You know what I'm saying? Don't spoil the child. You know, put that whooping on him. That's out of love because he don't want you to do wrong and to be wrong. He don't want you to go out and get harmed. He don't want you to go out and not be paying attention like a man should and somebody smack you over your damn head. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna, he gonna tell your ass then what's that on the ground and hit you with an uppercut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he gonna, he gonna make sure you paying attention, being aware of your surroundings. Bring that out. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter eight, verse 23. You know? Thus saith the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that 10 men shall take hold out of all out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. Man, you see that? We coming upon these times faster than ever. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to speak presumptuously, you know, but she uh, licked that finger and put that hand up in the sky. It looked like we getting closer than most. What they say? Closer than most? I heard you banging that old school pop. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, we almost there. They going to be grabbing onto that hymn because they know that we the chosen ones of God. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead. Saying, we will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. See, they heard that God is with us. They know that God is with us. That's why they say, we don't need y'all. We need y'all making business slow here. We don't want y'all on, 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 in front of our stove. You know what I'm saying? We need y'all to go away, because once we bring this home, ain't going to be no more damn stove. You know what I'm saying? See, I've been shopping here. My uncle used to work here. You know what I'm saying? Gave me his blood, sweat, and tears. Ain't going to be no more stove. Ain't going to be no stove. Ain't going to be no hoe. Ain't going to be no dough. And niggas ain't going to be poor. And that's one right. thing for sure. Go ahead, bring that precept up, Dean. It's the book of Romans, chapter 13 and 11. And that, knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. See that? The sal our salvation is nearer than when we believe. You don't got to go to, uh, uh, damn, Ghana, over somewhere else in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Because like I just brought out the other night, the, in, in Psalms. As long as you're keeping these law, statutes, and commandments, the angel is going to encamp around you. Like Brother Shav always like to say, they're going to encamp around you. Brother, you don't got to be worried about none of that. 
you just gotta be worried about not blowing the hell off. Yeah. If you ain't blowing the hell off, see it. Hey, you got a, a damn good chance of getting your ass beamed up. You know, we all gotta pass us while we putting that brick in and trying to get in where we fit in so we can get out. You know what I'm saying? Cause that that's the whole that's the whole main intent. You know, the brother asked him where do we wanna be in two years? The hell up out of here. You know what I'm saying? What's because what's worse than this? Y'all worried about, hey, hey, Retazion, they worry about the wrong shit. You know what I'm saying? Keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, be uh, occupied in prophecy and, and meditating in these scriptures, man, and, and you're gonna be good. You got precept. This is the book of Micah, chapter 5, verse 7. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people, as a dew from Yahweh, as the showers upon the grass that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles, in the midst of many people, as a lion among the beasts of the forest. So like, that's where we are now. The, the remnant of Jacob in, in the midst of many people. We scattered in all nations throughout the four corners of this earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, not taken for granted. We grew up in a, and we in a, right now we're in a, a majority uh, so-called African-American city, Detroit. You know what I'm saying? You know where you look to your left, you look to your right. You gonna see a nigga. You know what I'm saying? You gonna see a nigga. You go to Southwest Detroit, guess what? You gonna see some Hispanic people. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just is what it is. You know, our brothers. Go ahead. It says, as a lion among the beasts of the forest, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who if he go through, both trade it down and tear it to pieces, and none can deliver. Thine hands shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. Damn, it's a damn choking them damn adversaries out, them damn ops choking them out with them hands lifted up on them through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Because he train, he trying our hands to war when that need to be done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He gonna, he gonna put that on, on your spirit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna have to worry about nothing. You ain't gonna have to worry about, you know, overstocking this and overstocking that because that, hey, it's gonna, it's gonna be like manna the way it comes to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it's gonna be. But all you gotta do to receive that is keep these laws, statutes, and commandments and repent daily. Repent daily. I don't care if you if you know for a fact you ain't do nothing. You still gotta re repent. I don't care repent. For knowing and unknowingly. You know what I'm saying? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's like the brother right. just brought out, the kingdom, the, the uh, uh, salvation is, is nearer than when we the nearer than, than when we thought. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Psalm chapter 144 from the top. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hands to war. See, hold on, Salah. He said, Blessed be the Lord, my who? My strength. My strength, because like we brought out earlier, the Most High didn't give us the, the spirit of fear. You know, the only thing we're supposed to fear is the Most High, because He's the only one that can kill your body and kill your soul. Uh, Go ahead. Which teaches my hands to war. Teaches them hands to war. You ain't got to be worried about uh, Jiu Jitsu and. Taekwondo, you know, might I add, you know what I'm saying? Keep, you know, keep keep your body in shape because that's the temple, you feel me, and the most high, the most high is within you. What's going on with you, King? We're out here for you, man. If you got a second, come politic with us, man. We out here for so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native, Native Americans, telling them, teaching them that they are the chosen people that the Bible speaks of. We ain't gonna give it to you like your pastor give it to you in church. We're gonna give it to you real. You know what I'm saying? If you got a second, you feel me? Take a flower from that king right there. And, and you feel me? Come holler at us. We can show you uh, a few things in, in life you know, on this book that we on. Go ahead. And my fingers to fight. My goodness. My fortress. My high tower. And my deliverer. My shield. And he and whom I trust. Who subdueth me, my people under me. See? You got to put that trust and that faith in the most high. And he going to sustain you. That's another one right there. They all they all really go hand in hand. Precept upon precept, line upon line. Here a little, there a little. You feel me? They all go hand in hand. You feel me? As long as you do what you're supposed to do for the most high, he's gonna sustain you, he's gonna make sure you good. Go ahead, you got something? Yeah, that's what's going on. How y'all doing, sisters? Yeah. How y'all doing? We out here uh trying to teach our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that we are the chosen people that the Bible speaks of. You feel okay. me? That this Bible is actually black history. You know, yeah. it was not gonna have people come up to us and tell us it's, it's written by a white man and all of that. Why would a white a white man, a so-called white man, write his own despise and death to his own nation in the Bible? You know what I'm saying? That's it's, it's a lot of things that that they that pastor missed in church. Yeah. You know, like the book of Obadiah. That yeah. is the, the total oblation of, of the so-called white man. Why why would why would they put that in there? Why would they put the uplifting of Deuteronomy 7 and 6? Give me that. Just look at this. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. 
it's about it's another scripture here that say that that your feet is not even supposed to be touching the ground. That's how royal you are. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we out here, we out here to uplift our people, you know, okay. and, to, and to tell our people that the, it, it's a, a true downfall of this queendom, uh, so-called America, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mystery Babylon. You know, yeah. it's, it's on the it's on the way to fall. You see the American dollar crumbling. But look at this Deuteronomy seven and six. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. But thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. So it says, we are a holy people unto the Lord thy God. That word holy means separate. So the Most High separated us. He's a separatist. He separated so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to himself. And everybody else is what they is. Go ahead. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So he chose you, sister. It's not no mistake that you stopped in the cold. You know what I'm saying? To hear this word. You know, it's on your spirit. The most I put that on your spirit. It ain't no mistake. Go ahead. He chose you. Go ahead. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. It's an equal to? Above, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Uh, our people have been fighting for equality. So equal to? Above all people that are upon the face you know, of the we, earth. We pour as hell on the battle, uh, six mile and the battle working. So, so we bigger than them, right? Above, above all people. So sister, it says that you are above all people that are that are on the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. it was cool with Malcolm Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and Marcus Garvey and all of them was doing, yeah. but they were fighting for equality, which is something that we could never obtain. Because how can you attain equality when you are the greater vessel? Yeah, so that, I just want to leave you with that. And if you got a second when you come back out, come politic with us and I can show you a little bit more. All right, thank you. What's going on, King? Uh, step over here for me real quick, man. Look, you can step on that sign too because that's 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 what they, uh, all praises to the most high. That's what they show you what, uh, what, what Jesus looks like. Somebody give me a uh, revelation. Bring that out. We're going to show you what Jesus looks like for real. You got some hair up under there? Got... Oh, yeah, that's 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 like your hair. You, that would be like woolly texture hair, right? Mm -hmm. Your eyes look a little bit red too. Somebody pissed you off? No, no. It's all no, good. Just waking, just uh, waking just up. Waking up. <laughs> hey, look, with surely oppression making the wise man mad. You gotta wake up and come out in this damn cold. This ain't our natural habitat. Bring this out. Watch this. This is this what Jesus really looked like. Who the world calls Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is the Mashiach yeah. Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Christ yeah. Go ahead. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Bring it on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Start at one. Start at one. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the revealing of Jesus Christ. Now jump down. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his hairs were white like wool. You know, the older people, what they hair get gray, right? Yeah, but that's that's that would be the color of, of the hair right there. That's the white. And then it gives you the texture, which is wool. What you got on your head? What's, what's your texture? If I take my braids on my shit like that too, that's wool, that's woolly hair, right? So it's say you got hair like this. Do you see that on there? Hell no, he got hair like a damn dog. <laughs> what they smell like when it rain? Goddamn dog, dog and horse shit. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. He said his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. As white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was as a, a flame of fire. He pissed off. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass. You know what color brass is, King? You know that? Yeah, brass is uh, like. Brownish, yeah, brownish will, will be like uh, more so like a penny, like copper like, but brownish is correct. Go ahead, his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn and they burn. Now, I say fine brass as if it burn in the furnace. You, you fuck around on the grill when it's hot outside, so if you leave that damn laptop on that grill too long, what color is gonna turn to dark black? So, is this nigga dark black? His voice as the sound of many waters. Did you hear I'm talking? You know, I'm loud as hell. I don't even need no microphone right now. You know, black people be you be in your house and you hear niggas down the street. Yeah. Niggas is loud as hell. That's that voice of many waters. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just to show you that you feel me, Christ is a so-called black man like yourself. You know what I'm saying? So and he derives from the tribe of Judah. Would your uh, father be a so-called African American? So yeah, so you would come from the tribe of Judah as well because we come from the seed of our father. The man carries the seed. You know what I'm saying? The seed is like wherever you plant that seed at, whatever that seed is, that's what the tree will become. You know what I'm saying? So you are an offspring of your father. You know what I'm saying? So you would be from the tribe of Judah, which is the fourth tribe, you me? which is uh, the same tribe as Yahweh, who the word English calls Jesus Christ. That's mighty. That's powerful because that's the that's the chief tribe, man. That's the head tribe. You feel me? Um, give me uh, give me uh, I, I just want to show you this real quick. Give me uh. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 and give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Give me two more uh, Bible verses real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. So it say that you are a, uh, a a separate people unto the Lord thy God. That word holy means separate. The most high is a separate. He races. He chose us over all nations. 
so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And he said, the hell with everybody else. It's basically like an artist. You can paint 20 pictures, but you can have your favorite, your, your, your top five or your top three. You're going to say, nigga, I'm rocking with these. The rest, fuck it. It is what it is. That's how it is with so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He chose us out of all people. Go ahead. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh-huh, you special to the Lord. Go ahead. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And that's what I was just showing that sister right there, that we're above all people on the face of the earth. Nobody can step to us. Nobody can step how we step. You know what they say? We on tiptoe, we step. You know what I'm saying? We real steppers. You feel me? Bring this out. And I just want to show you this. This is, so this is a, a really, you feel me? We're under these curses. You feel me? Deuteronomy 28, what is it? Uh, 15, so uh, gives us a large list of uh, uh, blessings, and then we got a larger list of curses, you feel me? The blessings is if we keep the law, statutes, just commandments. You got kids? Mm, yeah, I got one on the way. Okay, so you got one on the way. If your kid don't listen, your kid gonna be on punishment, right? Mm -hmm. The only way for your kid to get on punishment would be to listen to what you say, right? Exactly. That's the same thing, but why we living in these ghettos, and why we in the conditions that we in, and why we stuck in this weak-ass climate, you know what I'm saying? Because we done listen to our father, I've been out with your house, you know what I'm saying? Transportation and things of that nature. Yeah, you ever been to the uh, African American Museum downtown? Yeah. So you know they got that slave ship in there, right? So that will tell you that they got here the motor transportation with the slave ship, right? Yeah. Bring this out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again with the ships. Now that word Egypt, you know what I mean? Give me Exodus 20, uh, 2. You got it? I'm about to show you what that word Egypt is because it's not talking about. Uh, Physical Egypt, you know, have you ever heard of uh, Moses and the Israelites out of Egypt split the Red Sea? So that was that was the exodus of Egypt, you know what I'm saying? And the most I said he wasn't gonna send us back to that place and they walked out of there, right? Yeah, so they didn't need that mode of transportation that we are about to further show you at the end of this Bible verse. This is what Egypt is right here. Go ahead. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee mm -hmm. out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. out of the house of bondage. The house of bondage is what Egypt is synonymous with. So bondage, captivity, slavery. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so go ahead, bring this on. It says, and the Lord shall bring you to Egypt again. The Lord shall bring you into slavery again, uh-huh. With ships. With ships. So that's that mode of transportation. That's that slave ship right there, which was funded by the so-called Jewish people. You know what I'm saying? Because they know who we are, but we don't know who we is. If we knew who we were, we wouldn't be in this predicament that we are now. Exactly. Yeah, we rich in spirit still. And we give me Revelation 2 and 9. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. See? Go ahead. And there you, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond man and bond woman. Who was we sold to when we got off them flesh ships? We used to put them on them auction blocks. And they say, we were sold to who? We used to be sold unto your enemies. So it's saying, who was our enemy? The so-called white man. Goddamn devil, man. That the Bible speak of. Go ahead. For, for who? For bond man and bond woman. Bond man and bond woman. That's slave men and slave women. And what else? And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. That word buy means to redeem. Ain't nobody going to save us. The only one going to save us is Yahweh. Yahweh Shai is going to save us through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Right. You know what I mean? Give me this, uh, you said, because you were saying, uh, talking about the rich, and I said, we rich in spirit. You know Revelation 2 and 9. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works in tribulations and poverty, but thou art rich. So it say, I, I, it say, hey, it say, I know y'all niggas broke as hell. I know y'all niggas living in the slums and the ghetto in the hood. You know, hey, but guess what? You rich. You rich in spirit. Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. They say I know the filthy lie of them that say they are hey, Jews. Jews. We are. That's that's what I'm showing you. They say I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. The, the lie of them that say they are Jews and what? And are not. And are not. But, but, but what are they? Who are, are they? the synagogue of Satan? They say they're the synagogue of Satan. They're the chief house of Satan. Right. You know what I'm saying? They the goddamn devil that the Bible speak of. They're the real Jews. You know, like I was saying, you're from the tribe of Judah. The the, the root word of that is what? Judah. Yeah. Judah. We're the real Jews. That's all I'm saying. That's that's the southern kingdom. Just on the damn phone, man. Hey, check that flyer out. You know, we got the brothers number right here. You know, on that flyer, if you want to tap in, look at that YouTube. We got a lot of videos on YouTube, man. It's a car in Detroit. It's on the damn club game. Go ahead.
This is the book of James, chapter 2, verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world, yeah. rich in faith? Listen, my beloved brethren, have God not chosen the what? The poor of this the world. The poor of this world and what? Rich in faith. And rich in faith. Go ahead. And heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him. God, the kingdom is ours. It was promised to us. Know, and we got to love him. How do we love him? Give me that in time. How do we love the most high? You know what I'm saying? Give me a... Uh... How do we love the most high? You know what I'm saying? How do you love your your uh, your worldly father? You know what I'm saying? Being obedient, right? Go ahead and bring that out. This is the book of First John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. His commandments are not grievous. See that? That's the love of God, that we keep the commandments, that we be obedient. And the commandments are not grievous. They aren't hard to keep. Go ahead. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Sum it up, sum it up. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Yeah, be obedient. Fear God. Keep his commandments. That's the only thing that we're supposed to do in this goddamn place, man. All right. Yeah, and with that, I yield as a speaker. Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Shalom. Shalom.